On this episode, I'm here with Josh, and we're gonna be talking about three mistakes, three misconceptions that many Christian creatives make. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Justin, and I want to welcome you to That Christian Vlogger, a place where you can join me and experience faith in the first person. On this episode, I'm here with Josh, and today we're going to be talking about Christian creativity and three mistakes that many of us are making. By the way, if you're new here, I make videos every Monday and Thursday, so definitely consider subscribing. Josh, thanks so much for hanging out with yeah, me man, today. It, it's been a, like a few years since I've last seen you. Yeah. Yeah, and just it's been just a couple of drop years. off the drop off the map. Huh? It's been good not to see you, <laughs> and now it's really unfortunate that we're here. Well, this is what happens <laughs> when you release a CD and you're yeah, this man. this amazing musician, and, so and you want to just man. use use me to get your stuff out there. But yeah. uh, I'm grateful. I'm just trying to, to get more grand followers. So <laughs> hit them up on Instagram, thing. guys. Hit them up. <laughs> put a, it. Put. Can you put? Can you do one of those things where you right here? Put it right here. Right there. Oh, it's right here. Kind of like a baby, like I'm holding a baby. Right there. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Hit them up. <laughs> so Josh and I have known each other for uh, about 10 years yeah. now. We've actually done ministry together in youth ministry and different things like that. And from the very beginning, from when I first met Josh, actually I didn't really meet you. The first thing that I ever heard about you was a recording that you had made. Mm. And it was a terrible recording. It was oh, one thanks. of those that no, yeah. you do on no, those. I'm done with this video. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those recordings that you make on those like white Macs with the garage band yeah. app he had like this little like toy ukulele and he was out there singing but it was it was great it, it spoke to me and i ended up listening to that that series of of, of uh, music tracks for, sure. for like forever and now it's so cool to see where you started and where you are 10 years later you're releasing this album and you're doing some really cool things Dang, 10 years dude. 10 years later i hadn't thought about it, it, it till took right me, now it took me that <laughs> long bro it's been a long journey but yeah, yeah. here um so today we want to talk about three misconceptions three mistakes that many creatives make and this sure. is something that you're in the thick of right now you're you're kind of at the beginning of your 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 musical career like professionally right and it's something that i'm in the same place as as well with the channel just trying to do new things mm -hmm. try try new things and so what are three things that we make mistakes on? What are three misconceptions that we have? Why don't you launch us off with number one? Yeah, number one, I think the first common misconception that we have about creativity is saying that we're not creative. Yeah. yeah. So you might look at a group of people and say they're creative and then this group isn't. No, but no, I, think that's, I actually have a real question for you. Sure. Have, has that ever been something that you've thought? Cause, cause Back in the days, I've, all, I've thought that like a thousand times. I never thought that I was a creative type, but I always looked at you and I was like, man, this guy, this guy is gifted. He's, he's, oh, he's got, but, but I'm curious, is that actually something that you tell yourself? Yeah, sure. Like uh, I've, I've definitely seen people in my life who I think are more creative than me or just better at creativity. In, and in specific, I'm, I'm talking about like painting and music, right? Like those are the places where usually we observe creativity and we'll say, this person is more creative than this other person. Yeah. And, and, and for me, like that's exactly what I thought. I thought creativity or I thought being an artist was either, either music or arts or photography, like graphic design. And I thought that that's what it means to be creative, but apparently that's not the case, right? Yeah, rather I, I think what we learned from the Christian perspective is that as God is creator, God has made all of us to be creators and makers, yeah? And yeah. I think like getting to a place where we tell ourselves that and where we believe that, that like I am a creator, Justin is a creator, we're all creators, we're makers, puts us in a better place to do what we're passionate about. Yeah, if you're, if you're starting off in this place of negativity that I can't or that I'm not, then then of course you're not you're never going to be able to get started. Yeah, like you're you're going to be operating out of anxiety or operating out of like a, a sense of like not being able to do this well. Right? Yeah, and one thing that I think about is is you know the like literally the first thing that the Bible teaches us about God is that God is a creator. In the beginning, God created. Like that's the first thing. Like of course we know that God is love, right? And we hear all these other attributes of God, but the first one that we hear about is that God creates. And if it's true that you and I were created in God's image, then it stands to reason that each and every single one of us has some sort of creative expression that, that enables us to reflect God's character in our lives. Now, maybe that's not through music like Josh, or maybe sure. that's not through graphic design or painting or the cases, but the truth is, is every single one of us is creative in our own different way. Right. Uh, second misconception, one of the things that we were talking about is comparison. And what we mean by that, like, just making it practical to me. So me as a as a person who's just kind of put out this uh, Christian worship album, a lot of times what keeps people from doing stuff is like, I'm not gonna make this album because other people have already made albums that are better than me. Which is yeah? totally true. I mean, like there's a lot of people that make better albums than this guy for sure. <laughs> so. Like, I mean, like, but, but, but let's let, 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 let. You guys don't even know how low my self esteem is right now. <laughs> 
So, so comparison is, is, is a yeah. terrible thing. And the, the Bible even talks about it, like how we shouldn't be comparing ourselves among ourselves. Like sure. that's just a, not a healthy place for us to be. Yeah, and so just to kind of like contemporize it, so not just in the music industry, right, or in art, but like I feel like in all the areas of our life, when we start comparing ourselves to others, and what I mean by that is like saying that I am able, they are not, or they're capable, but I'm not. Like you're, you're creative. You're creating a negative space rather yeah. than a positive space to do something. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Misconception number three. Misconception number three is that create. <laughs> uh, taking a nap. <laughs> he totally <laughs> forgot what it was. <laughs> These are his points. He forgot about them. Yeah, we wrote them down. Uh, uh, well, it's because we have thirteen of them, right? So <laughs> No, what was the last one? So misconception number three was that creativity is like a selfish endeavor. Sure. But the reality is that, that that's the exact opposite, right? Yeah, that, so there's this idea that the best of creativity comes from being an individual or like doing it um, individually motivated. But what I think we're arguing and trying to put out there is that the best of creativity actually happens in community. Like mm -hmm. creativity is communal in the sense that there are some things that I know my friends can do better. And so rather than me just trying to do it on my own, I'm gonna call them into my project and ask like that we do something together, whether that be music or in the arts or in business or anywhere else, yeah? yeah. Like creativity is is harnessed the best in, in a communal context yeah. rather than individual. And, and I think that this is true of, of many aspects of life, whether it's creativity or just general success. Uh, there's generally speaking two different pathways to achieve the goal that you want. The sure. first is like, I'm gonna step over every person, I'm gonna push them out of the way and I'm gonna get mine, I'm gonna right. take, take, take in order for me to be successful. and. And like there's a whole like list of things that are wrong with that approach. But I think the Christian approach, the way that God has designed for us to actually function in this world is, is rather than seeking for yourself, is to, is, is to seek the betterment of other people. Right. Uh, and, and, and that's why I want you here, so that way my channel can be successful, because I'm trying to, trying to, yeah, trying to, trying to, trying to get <laughs> trying to you. do a little community building right here. <laughs> there it community. is, what's up? <laughs> no, but, but it, it's, it's real. That, that one of the biggest keys to success that I've found in my life is actually to, rather than seek how can you benefit me, is rather how can I be a blessing to you? How can right. I serve you? And as everyone is doing that in community, then we're able to really like be successful. Like the phrase is that a rising tide lifts all ships. Mm -hmm. and, and if that's true, if we can all work together simultaneously on, on each other's pro, uh, projects, then we're gonna be the most successful as we could ever be before. Right, and just to drive that point home, Justin is gonna edit a ship in my hand. Right, <laughs> it's gonna be like a SpongeBob ship. Or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, three misconceptions about creativity. I'm interested in hearing your guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. But Josh, let us know a little bit more about this project. What is it all about? Where can we find it? How do we get it? Basically, how do we throw our money at you, basically, is what I want to know. <laughs> sure. uh, so you actually, you don't have to throw money at it. You yeah. can, because you can listen to Tread the Heights on Spotify. That's or, the name of your album? Tread yeah, the Heights? Tread Sweet. the Heights on Apple Music. Uh, but then, yeah, if you do want to purchase it, you can get it on iTunes or uh, what's it called Amazon Prime. Amazon, there you go. Yeah. There you Google go. Play. You Google even, Play. You can even probably called. just like bit torrent it if you want, and yeah. you don't want to spend any money. You can do that. <laughs> There's a couple of illegal sites that you can download it nice, on. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. And uh, if you guys have or want to hear more about what Josh is doing, we're gonna do like a video of him actually doing like a. Is, is it considered a cover if you wrote it? No, it's your. It's. Because you're not covering anything. Okay. Because it's yours. Okay. So why would you ask that? I'm so sorry. Guys. I'm not. A, I'm not a creative. Do you even do this? Dude? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a creative. Is this your first time doing this thing? <laughs> so if you guys want to hear more about his music, get a little sample of it all. We're gonna have a, a link in the description below of a video of him doing a, a cover of his own. <laughs> it's not a cover. It's my song. I'm not covering it. All right. But until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger, and I want to encourage you guys to experience faith in the first person. God bless. Oh, oh, oh.